Hi, and thanks for listening. I'm super excited to cover an introduction to Starburst, the analytics engine for the data mesh. We unlock the value of distributed data by making it fast and easy to access data no matter where it lives. Starburst queries data from any database, making it instantly actionable for data-driven organizations. Together with Google Cloud, data teams can lower the total cost of their infrastructure and analytics investment, prevent vendor lock-in, and use the existing tools that work for their business. What we repeatedly see with our customers is that today's popular approach ultimately delays decisions because there's a reliance on moving data from source systems to lakes or warehouse. It becomes expensive to set up pipelines, move the data, and pay for it to live in multiple places. The extensive data movement and copying is complex to maintain. Lastly, as a result of all these moving parts, it's very hard to secure this environment. With Google, we want organizations to become more data-driven. And to do this, we want to help them evolve from today's centralization approach to what we call distributed data mesh. To be clear, we're not advocating to move data out of a warehouse or a lake if that's the best spot, and certainly not if the data already resides in GCS, but we are advocating to shift your mindset from the idea that there can be a single source of truth towards accepting and getting benefits out of a distributed data architecture. So how we think of ourselves and how our customers describe us is a consumption layer or data mesh that sits between any end user accessing data through tools like Jupyter Notebooks, Looker, Tableau, SQL, and many other business tools. Designed for the separation of storage and compute, Starburst is ideal for querying data residing in multiple systems. We're a fully supported production tested and enterprise grade distribution of open source Trino. Starburst extends beyond open source Trino to include additional connectors for commercial database systems, query optimization, as well as management tools. The core reason organizations select Starburst is our security features, which include role-based access control, data masking and encryption, column and role level security, and helping ensure a secure single point of access for all data consumers. Starburst integrates with Google's scalable cloud storage and computing services with a more stable, secure, efficient, and cost-effective way to query all your enterprise data. Starburst is not only a Google Cloud partner, but both our self-managed Starburst Enterprise and fully managed Starburst Galaxy products are available on Google Cloud Marketplace. Additionally, Starburst not only runs on Google Cloud via GKE, it also integrates with core priority solutions, as you can see highlighted here, across infrastructure, data, and security. From a joint go-to-market perspective, Starburst also helps customers across a handful of use cases, from unified analytics, cloud migration, and regulatory and governance, all of which we can play an integral part of in the Google ecosystem. Our new SaaS offering, Starburst Galaxy, is a fully managed platform designed to allow you to query data in your data lake or data warehouse. It's the easiest way for you to start running queries at interactive speeds across data sources using the business intelligence and analytics tools you already know. Starburst Galaxy is the purpose-built cloud service providing fast access to your data and provides the easiest pass to get started using open source Trino, the MPP SQL query engine, with enterprise-ready enhancements made by Starburst. It provides best-in-class performance at scale and the most demanding workloads. Starburst Galaxy dramatically reduces the time to value traditionally associated with interactive query services. There's no wasted time associated with upgrading to the latest version, configuring clusters, or scaling. All of these processes are managed by Starburst. The platform's intuitive design allows you to immediately start querying your data with minimal technical expertise required. Starburst Galaxy's architecture provides all the benefits of Starburst query engine on an easy to use fully managed SaaS platform. It reduces time to insight with an intuitive guided user experience, connecting to your data lake or database and running your first query takes less than five minutes. With Starburst Galaxy, you can create a cluster in just a few clicks and set cost performance ratio based on your organization's need. Create a cluster for whoever in your organization needs it there's no queuing behind slowed queries or issues with shared resources associated with other query services. And now for a brief demo on how Starburst Galaxy 
can query data within minutes. All right, for this demo, we're going to go over Starburst Galaxy for Google Cloud. We're going to show you how easy it is to use Starburst Galaxy to query your data in your Google Data Lake. These could be different tables, different roll-up tables, any kind of data that you have in your uh, Google Cloud storage. We can also show how easy it is to reach out to other sources like Postgres and MySQL. The different steps are create a Galaxy account, which just takes a couple minutes. You create your uh, Google Cloud Storage catalog, and then add a cluster, and then add that catalog to the cluster, and then start querying your data. It's that easy. Okay, I'm going to first start by logging into my Starburst Galaxy account using my username and password. It's going to bring me to my main screen of Galaxy. So in the upper left, I'm going to start with catalogs. We have some sample data that you can query. I'm going to click on configure catalog. I have different options here I can choose for my data sources. I'm going to choose Google Cloud Storage. I'm going to call it GCS for Google Cloud Storage. I could choose read only, which makes which means I can only do select statements against this data in case there's some sensitive data or I don't want people to override data that's in my uh, data lake. Um, I'm going to choose to uh, paste my Google Cloud JSON key in here. And then I could choose Hive Metastore if I have an existing Hive Metastore. And then I could choose I don't have a Hive Metastore. This just simply means um, we have to have a place to define the data that's in your data lake. So I'm going to click on Galaxy Demo and Demo Galaxy for my directory name. This simply means when I create tables, if I don't have a schema, um, it'll actually create this in um, this folder called Demo Galaxy. So I'm going to click on Allow Creating External Tables and I'll allow writing to these external tables. That just means simply means I already have data that's in my data lake and I want to be able to define structures on top of that data. I'm going to click on Test Connection. I have successfully tested that connection to US Central 1 in Iowa. I'm going to click on Save Catalog. Next thing I want to do is configure a MySQL database. So I'm going to choose the provider of Google. I'm going to type in, I'm going to call it just MySQL because that's nice and easy. I'm going to paste in my connection information for MySQL. Test the connection. I have successfully connected. Now Save Catalogs. Now I have two data sources set up, my Google Cloud Storage and MySQL. I'm going to next go to Clusters. I'm going to create a brand new cluster. I'm going to call it GCP. I'm going to choose um, the different t-shirt sizes. I'm going to choose extra small just because I'm doing a demo. Right here is the idle shutdown time, which means if no queries are executed against this cluster, go ahead and go into susp suspend state, which means you don't pay anything at all. What happens is if a cluster is in suspend mode, which I'll show you in just a couple of minutes, is it'll wake up. If any queries come into the, the cluster, it'll wake up, execute those queries. If no other queries come in, it'll go back into suspend mode, saving you a lot of money. Down here in catalogs, I'm going to choose MySQL and those and my GCS. Those are my two catalogs that I've created. And I could choose different kind of uh, roles and users, uh, uh, roles in here that if I want to. I'm just going to use public just for my demo. I'm going to click on create cluster. Now what it's doing is deploying a cluster in Google Cloud under the US Central region. We'll give that a second to come up. I'm going to show you query editor while this starts up. And Query Editor is a very, very simple place to uh, execute SQL. So you can have different tabs open. You can name them whatever you want to. And um, you have this uh, Cluster Explorer, which means you can explore the different um, objects that are in your cluster. You can have multiple clusters here as well, one for reporting, one for ad hoc. There's a lot of flexibility in Galaxy because now you're not going through this whole deployment process. You're clicking a couple buttons, you're creating a cluster, and you're starting to query. When we go back to cluster, now you can see this cluster is running. Let me go back to query editor and expand this cluster. And now here's my GCS and my MySQL. So let's go to GCS, which is my Google Cloud Storage. So let's go back into here. I'm going to create a new schema that's going to point to this Galaxy demo and then demo folder. So this a schema is just a place to hold different tables. So if I minimize and maximize GCS here, I'm going to have my demo schema. Now I have, I'm going to create some tables. Tables uh, that are at the, uh, this table is called customer. It's going to point to existing org files that I have in my data lake. So let's go ahead and create this table. That takes a quick second, and I'm going to go ahead and select from that. And here, just in a couple minutes, I'm already selecting data for my data lake. Now, if I go down to demo, click on tables, I should have a customer table here now. So that's it. Just in a couple minutes, I was able to um, create a catalog create a cluster and start querying my data. All right, thanks for watching.